Hey everybody, it's Pastor Mark McDonald with First United Methodist Church of Batesville. We're not really doing as, as much online in terms of the weekly update and devotionals, but I did want to give you a very special update. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everybody for your patience, for your respect, for your diligence as we slowly and safely reopen the church. Uh, we've had several weeks now of worship. Uh, we are excited about how smoothly it's gone. The first one, of course, was Easter Sunday with four worship services. That was a task. We filled up two of them completely, but we've kind of learned some of our limits. We've learned a lot of lessons as we've done this. And as I say, we've, we've been slow and sa slowly and safely reopening. And so thank you for your patience with that. Thank you for working with us. Uh, I'm, I'm so honored to be the pastor of a church that is so respectful and cooperative as you are. So this Sunday is a big change. This Sunday, May 2nd, is the day that we resume our Sunday school hour, except it's a Sunday school 45 a minute. <laughs> so this Sunday, our schedule continues in this transitional time with 9 a.m. worship in the Fellowship Hall, which is our contemporary service. 10 o'clock Sunday school in our Sunday school classrooms, uh, and, and then 11 o'clock in the sanctuary for worship, which is our traditional worship. Each Everything that we have right now within our conference guidelines and as we slowly reopen limits us to 45 minutes of time together in that service or in that class. So you're welcome to show up a, a few minutes before. We encourage you to not to show up more than 15 minutes before, uh, but and there's time... During the service, if you're sitting in the pews, you can visit, certainly in your Sunday school classes as you sit. The main rules that we have for worship continue into Sunday school, and that is that we wear masks the entire time we're in, that and when we're in worship, when we're in Sunday school, speakers or worship leaders can take their masks off if they maintain 12 feet at least of social distance with anybody around them. Uh, and so we, we don't even have all of our, our leaders doing that, but that is an option for the Sunday school leaders, but you need that 12 feet. So that gets a little tight in some of our classrooms. Now we do have a limit on each of the classrooms, so please take a look at the newsletter and you will notice that we have listed all the rooms there that are available for the Sunday school classes. Uh, and if you meet in one of those, those are the limits. Now we've set those limits, as I tried to explain last week in worship, we've set those limits based on individuals in that room. So if there is a limit of 20 people in a room, it's because 20 people, individuals would have six square feet around them or 36 square feet around them, six feet between everybody else. What we found though is that because a lot of families sit together, households can sit side by side. They don't have to have that six feet of social distance between each person or among the family itself, but you do maintain six feet around that household. So what we found is that if the limit is 20 in a room and there are households that are sitting together, that goes up a little bit, not substantially. So what we're, what we're saying is that this, this number that we put in the newsletter, which is, is available today online and, and is being mailed out as well, the numbers that we have for each of the rooms are our target guidelines of where that's kind of the maximum. If you go over one or two in those, that's okay. If you find yourself going over, please call the church office and let us know or send me a message. Let us know that you've gone over because we do need to stay within those guidelines. People have asked, why can we go into restaurants? Why can we go into stores? The mask mandate's gone. Because we're Christians and we want to make sure everybody feels safe. So to do that, we continue to wear our masks and keep our distance. We're excited because most everybody who's coming to worship right now has been fully vaccinated, and that is a relief. But we're gonna hold on a little bit more before we start changing these rules until we see more vaccinations come through and we feel more confident. Again, we want everybody to feel safe and secure when they come to church. We don't want anybody to be put off because we walk around without masks and put them at risk for anything or make them feel at risk. So for the time being, keep wearing your mask, keep the social distance. And the third one is the hardest one, no food or drinks served in, inside the building for our Sunday school. Um, the reason we're doing that is because people take off their masks to eat. And when, when people are serving, when people are grabbing food, there, there's a lot of contact going on. And it's real easy to get caught up in that, to forget, forget the mask, to touch food, those kinds of things. While we don't worry 
tremendously about contact transmission, we do want to make sure that everybody feels safe and comfortable. So the Board of Trustees, who are our legal representatives, and they are the ones held liable for this, the Board of Trustees have continued to say uh, that we're going to follow the conference guidelines. Masks, social distance, no food or drinks uh, being served, and then also we limit ourselves to 45 minutes. That allows us time to get in and get out. Now we're also saying please don't, don't visit uh, in the hallways, don't block the doorways, again, to make people feel comfortable. We're getting there, and I'm excited about that, but those are, those are the rules that we're following. So this Sunday, please um, remember that this is the week to come back. Now, we are still taking reservations for the 9 o'clock and the 11 o'clock services. If, if you go to our Facebook page, you'll see it. It's the same link that uses for every week. You just pick the week you want to reserve, and you can get that link in our newsletter as well. Uh, if you have any problems, just call the church office and let us know. Even if it's closer to the service, just call and let us know that you're coming. We're not maxing out yet, but since we have Sunday school starting back, we want to make sure we're ready in case there is a larger crowd to expect to make sure we have everything prepared for that. That should not be too much longer that we do reservations. And honestly, if you think of it at the last minute, don't hesitate to come to church. I love to see you, and and, and as long as we're not going over our maximums, which we're not yet, we aren't going to turn anybody away. We're going to welcome everybody. But we do ask that you continue to show that grace, that love, that respect that you've shown so well. I want you to know, I'm really proud to be your pastor. I have had such a wonderful experience going through this with you because of the way that you've shown your grace and your love and your respect. So thank you very much. Uh, this Sunday, Sunday school, 45 minutes, mask, social distance, no food. Now, if you want to bring your own drink, that's cool. The secret, and we've got people that, that, that have done that at our contemporary service too. You have your drink, and then you just lift your mask to drink and then put it back down. Don't take your mask off because you have a drink and walk around with it. That, again, we don't want to make anybody uncomfortable, but we are allowing that, so please don't hesitate uh, to come in, have some time sitting around the tables and visit. You can even move to another pew and visit with the people that are six feet around you there if you want to. Make, make some fun out of this, but thank you again for your respect. I'm looking forward to this Sunday. Now, next Wednesday, not today, but next Wednesday, we take the next step in our youth and children where we're opening our Wednesdays wide open again. And so I'll have more details about that that I'll share in this way next week. That's our last major step uh, toward reopening. And we continue to do all the other things that we've been doing. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I hope to get to see you in church very, very soon inside the building. And, and I look forward to that day. God bless.